Temperatures in parts of California could soon top 120 degrees, busting heat records. And several tornadoes touched down in the Chicago area last night, including one near O'Hare Airport. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. California is facing a dangerous heat wave. Temperatures in some parts of the state could soon top 120 degrees. From member station KVPR, Joshua Yeager reports that would bust century-old records. Forecasters say a heat dome is behind the sweltering weather set to bake much of the southwest. That's air heated over the Pacific Ocean and trapped under high atmospheric pressure. The high pressure kind of acts like a blanket. Carlos Molina is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service. He says this blanket is going to cover much of inland California for days. Several cities here are expected to break daily heat records above 110 degrees. Nearly all of the state will be under an excessive heat warning by Friday. That means stay indoors if you can. For NPR News, I'm Joshua Yeager in Bakersfield. The National Weather Service says several tornadoes hit Illinois yesterday, most of them in the Chicago area. One of the tornadoes touched down near O'Hare Airport, grounding flights. Greg Timpey lives in a Chicago suburb where a tornado tore down a 100-year-old tree on his property. It really left as quick as it came. It was maybe 10, 20 seconds and it was out of here and all this. There are no reports of injuries. The Georgia State Election Board is suing the organization True the Vote. Officials allege the group promotes election conspiracy theories and has refused to provide evidence for its claims. From member station WABE in Atlanta, Sam Greenglass has more. In a movie titled 2000 Mules, True the Vote argued without evidence that unspecified liberal groups conspired to stuff drop boxes in swing states with fraudulent ballots to steal the 2020 election from Donald Trump. Law enforcement has debunked those claims, but True the Vote filed a complaint with the election board, accusing groups of paying $10 per absentee ballot submitted by Dropbox. The board, which is dominated by Republican appointees, has issued subpoenas for documents or sources to prove the claims, but True the Vote has not produced any. The election board has already dismissed other cases highlighted by 2,000 mules. For NPR News, I'm Sam Greenglass in Atlanta. President Biden is in Helsinki today meeting with the president of Finland. They'll also attend a key meeting with other leaders from Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and Iceland. Biden has just come from the NATO summit in Lithuania. The allies discussed beefing up their cooperation with Ukraine as it resists Russia's invasion. Meanwhile, Ukrainian officials say they have again shot down about 20 Russian drones aimed at their capital, Kyiv, overnight. Falling debris wounded at least two people and destroyed some homes. Ukrainian officials also said they intercepted two Russian cruise missiles in other parts of the country. This is NPR.